little brown bats have nearly disappeared from six states. I think that, that we're not gonna lose one species of hibernating bat. I think we're gonna potentially lose many species of hibernating bat. So it goes from, wow, here's this one really interesting species that may go extinct, and that's very tragic, to here's an entire guild of animals. So all of these animals that have the same job, that play the same role in the environment, multiple species that have this same role, these hibernating insectivorous bats, could potentially go extinct. Then you're looking at something on a giant scale. Deanne and her students must hurry to find out more before it's too late. We're trying to understand fundamentally what's wrong with these bats. And somewhere in looking at that biology, there may be some aha kind of moments, right? As we really understand what this fungus is doing to these animals, and we understand what they're gonna be capable of and not, we may come up with some novel strategies. A maze of chains presents an obstacle course for the research bats. Which might be the difference between those white nose bats. A healthy bat shouldn't have any trouble navigating these chains. Deanne also records the echolocation calls of the bat searching for any abnormality. But it seems as if even the sick bats don't have any trouble navigating the chains. This is not the way the fungus affects the bats. While Deanne and her colleagues keep searching for clues, bats in the wild continue to die. 